Hey guys, welcome back to the Raft gameplay. Today, we're gonna go to a, another big island quest today. So in the meantime, we're gonna fast forward it. Alright, see you then.
Alright, we are here at this quest island. So we're gonna prep first before we go. So it's gonna take a quick second. Alright, bye. All right, now that's all done. Let's get to it. First thing first, we're gonna gather these uh, little trailers. Check if they got any like food or anything. And we pick up a battery charger. All right. So let's see. There's a well right here. And now, let's check if there's a way we could probably make the water go up in there. So we're gonna climb up, follow the tubes. But in the meantime, I wanna check if I can rotate these. Make sure it actually is correct. And I'm gonna loot this trailer right here too so I don't forget. Getting a lot of goods, it's very good. All right. Following the tubes, and here we are. Okay, gotta rope to this 12 o'clock. If my mouse could work. Alright, press that again. Oh, that's like 2 o'clock. And now we're gonna bring that down to 5 o'clock. Sandy says the water pump idea doesn't work because there isn't enough space in the well for all the water. Also, the neighbors complain about getting salt in their cups. They complain because they have no patience for science. I asked Pa why we can't fly to another planet without all this water. Pa just laughed. But Sanjay showed me some pictures that gave me a great idea though. Alright, it looked like that will fill, so we're gonna keep pumping it until it overfills. I don't have any pumps, so I'm just gonna do four pumps. So, let's go. One, two, three, four. Oh, it was four. Yikes. Oh well. Alright, that's a zip one. And here's another batter charger part. Alright, so my inventory is full again, so we're gonna reorganize my inventory, but we're gonna take all the important stuff first. Uh, rope don't need right now. Take that bowl and eat this rest of these potatoes, I guess. Or not. <laughs> Alright, let's head down to the raft. Alright, we're gonna jump on this trailer and then jump in the water. Hopefully, I don't take fall damage. We.
sailing as one, the raft towns of Indonesia. The flooding of Jakarta has led to escaping locals creating interconnected rafts as they make their way to land. We just make do, said Putri Reyes, one of the earlier adopters of these raft towns, when inquired by one of our reporters about their living conditions. Drifting largely on sea currents, they appear to be growing at a steady rate, raising considerable concerns with coastal authorities. A maritime hazard in the making, the foreign minister stated this morning in a public address. Despite these concerns, many believe raft towns could very well be a viable alternative. Recent rumours surrounding the construction of sanctuary towers in the southern hemisphere has only increased tensions. We sought a comment from the local government. Man, dude, this creature is hella annoying. I'm really mad that it took so many arrows and yeah, destroyed one of my bows. But at least I got a rare head. The fun part. Alright. I'm gonna uh, organize my inventory one more time, then head out again. I really need to get myself a backpack at this point. Because I'm getting sick of tired re coming back forth for my inventory space and we're gonna cook all the materials we got on us too where we're at it so i hope everyone day is great and i'm gonna just head back i got two nets all right get you guys later beeps beep bop be dub dub dub. All right, just gonna click these arrows first. <laughs> Leto Scientific Journal classified. Ma says I should write down what I think to make it stick, so I write. Caravan Town is a rock sticking out from the water. It has good land to raise pigs to eat. We can fish, grow vegetables. Uh, only downside are the hyenas, but they are hugely friendly. We came here on a boat with half the rest of Jakarta. They let us stay because Ma is smart and Pa is good at welding. They say I'm just another mouth to feed. But I'll show them. See, the problem is, the water is rising, right? What if we just take away the water? Olof Bilkström left that corrupt city because they refused to let regular working class folk on board. I was appalled. Why should the elite get to escape the apocalypse? They should be forced to share their luxury. 
Who should force them? That's right! The greatest rafters in this new southern sea! You! Take Tongaroa! Take back your future! I think I'm in trouble. That do put together a diving suit using a bike and an old diving helmet. That do put weights in it to go down, but he put in too much. Now if I leave, then no one will pump air to Dato using the bike. If I'm thrown in jail, this is proof I'm innocent. Dato Scientific Journal, Underwater Caches. Sanjay ran off crying as soon as they dragged me out. Very unprofessional. There's lots of debris underwater. I couldn't get anything out though. Sad. Pa forbade me from doing any more experiments. I think he's just angry because what he said. He said it should be okay. So it's okay. Scientific journal. Monster investigation. There's a stranger in town called Olaf. Pa keeps going to his meetings. No kids allowed. But at night, I got Sanjay to help me sneak onto the stranger's ship. I thought maybe he had some medicine for Ma. But Olaf's boat was just filled with cages. In the cages were big rats and a very large hyena. They were so angry. Sanjay found notes talking about feeding and training them into his personal army. Sanjay thinks Olaf might be a bad guy. I think I agree. So we might as well get this chicken because we need the eggs to research so we can have some healing saliva and all that good stuff.
Datto's experiment journal, attempt 733. Pa helped me weld the rocket together, and Sanjay borrowed some fireworks to get it started. Pa had to apologize to everyone for the explosion. I don't get it. It was just a test. What an overreaction. They would have taken my tools if Sanjay hadn't helped me put out the fire. Ah, <sighs> good helper, Sanjay. Shack, sick as a dog. I don't think I can treat anyone in my condition and these people know it. I asked them to leave me here. It's the pigs. For weeks they've acted erratic. I have been blind to it. I didn't even notice the butchers getting sick. It all started when Olaf worked on the riot, and I do not see it as a coincidence. Not gonna lie, the rocket was pretty lit. All right, so we're gonna go to this coordinates one more time, and I hope you guys enjoy this video, and I hope to see you guys next time. All right, see you guys. Bye. Ciao. Adios. <laughs>